we have the gorgeous Candace here, aka Can, can Dance. Dance. Hey. So why do they call you Can Dance? Because I can dance, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your career in dancing. So essentially, I've been dancing since I was a little girl. Um, I was on companies. I have been in, in and out of dance studios. I'm a choreographer as well. I was with the NBA for six years, with the NHL for one year, which is where we met. Yes. And um, <laughs> now I'm in LA pursuing my dance career and fitness career as well. So it's just, it became a nickname years and years ago when I was a kid. So is that why you moved here to LA to pursue your dancing? It is, yes. I moved here to LA because I knew there was so much more opportunity here in LA for me to go to auditions and just to get out there and get more exposure. So tell us about your preparation for moving here. Like what was your thought process? So moving here was a lot different than when I moved to Florida. I mm -hmm. did move to Florida with just a suitcase and that was it, wow. just the money in my pocket. So I knew moving out here to California was going to be a lot more of a planned out uh, trip because I was moving 4,000 miles away. Yeah. And so this took me nine months of preparation. Okay. I wanted to make sure once I got here I didn't go broke and I wasn't going to end up dead in a ditch somewhere. So I wanted to make sure I had everything planned out mm -hmm. and it did. It took nine months and I did it all by myself. It was one of the hardest things I did, but I did it by myself and I'm an independent woman and I'm so proud. I love that. And I think a lot of people have to realize that it takes time to plan. Um, I think it took me about a year. Yeah. Um, I think that what I'm it hearing does. from a lot of people like nine months to a year. So just know that it may take some time to save money and that's okay because you don't want to end up broke. You don't want to rush it. Yeah. yeah. You want to <laughs> not. You want to take some time and you don't want to, you know. For me, I've always supported myself, and you know, I've never relied on my, you know, family to support me. Mm -hmm. So I've always been such a very strong-willed person and, and such a go-getter. Yeah. So yeah. I knew I was fully capable of doing it. It just took time and preparation, and to be able to land in the right spot that was, you know, feasible for myself. What are you working on right now? Do you have any projects? I saw so, that she um, taught a heels class the other day. Yeah, I did I at know. one of my favorite dance studios, Millennium Dance Love Complex Millennium. in the OC, and they are just such an amazing dance studio. They're nationwide, actually. And just being out here in the LA circuit, meeting with people, my trademark is my hair. And yes, yes it's real. Tell about your hair. Let's talk hair about color. this for a second. <laughs> All right, so for let's be real. There's only 2% of us redheads left in the world. Wow. And I'm one of them. So I'm a real <laughs> life she's unicorn. On Allie, Allie, hey. Hey, hey redheads. <laughs> for real. Um, so I mean, how many redheads do you know? You? Right? Yeah. See, that's it. And I've never dyed my hair, like never. That's this is the awesome. real deal. Yeah. yeah so um, my hair is my trademark. So whenever I go somewhere, people always recognize me for my hair. I have a very positive attitude. And so people just recognize me and my hair and my energy first and foremost. So that's kind of gotten me a lot further along the way because people just remember my face and who I am. So things have been going good. I've been going to a lot of auditions, getting a lot of experience. And you also work world. at um, Orange Theory, right? I'm a fitness coach so for the Orange, Orange Theory, Theory and the orangey red hair. That's just like, per she's like the perfect brand ambassador I'm like, for Orange Theory. Is that why you guys hired me? <laughs> it was because of my orange hair? I mean, clearly. They should just make you part owner. Oh you my know? gosh, they should have. Like, <laughs> well, they did put my face all over the country for a while oh, really? for their first marketing campaign. Nice. So the redhead and all the marketing in the first wave of, of you know marketing across the United States was me. So Oh, okay. that's awesome. So what else do you want to do with your dance career? Well, I would love to be a backup dancer for J-Lo or Beyonce mm -hmm. or Rihanna or um, just a very empowered figure. Mm -hmm. um, I love the whole women empowerment movement that's going on right now and I love to inspire other people so just even being here I know that I've inspired other people along the way. Yeah. So I have mm -hmm. nothing holding me back right now besides this you know epiphany of a dream that I'm just so desperately to conquer and I will. And you will. I, can I see, will. Can y'all see her being a backup dancer for Beyonce? Yeah. I can see, on the I next world tour. Put it yeah. out there in the universe. Like, hello. You are in the right place, LA. That's I where know. they cast all of I know. Well, it's just going to take time, and I know that. And mm -hmm. I just need to work on my craft. I need to work on my talents and what I've been blessed with. And I just need to make sure that I'm always putting myself out there. And I, I 
that that's it. I mean, it's when preparation meets opportunity. opportunity. That's when it happens. Yes. So before we finish, I have a question. <laughs> what is the craziest thing that has happened to you since you've been in LA? Maybe even just something like where you had an aha moment where you're like, wow, like that I put that out into the universe and it just came back. To okay, me. got it. <laughs> I took a I took a class at Millennium Dance Center and Millennium Dance Complex and. When I went in there, one of the choreographers, when I told her, I'm just like, you know, hey, my name's Candace. Everyone calls me Candace. She's like, I know you. I'm like, wait, what? She's like, I follow you on Instagram. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> it was amazing. You know, you never know who's watching you and who's having conversations about you that could possibly help you get to the next step. So it's always okay. good to put your best foot forward out there on social media or whatever and just grind and be consistent so when I you think meet one of your idols it's like hey I yeah, no, you. absolutely and then <laughs> even in a more funny twisted way of fate she did um like a this workout UFC video um for like a UFC training MMA video type thing and my brother is a UFC fighter and, and so he it's fine is he still single <laughs> yes he is <laughs> You're I'll be put up his information. He, no, I'm I'll be doing the interviews <laughs> just to uh, find my my future sister-in-law. So yes, that could be the topic of the next show. That would be awesome. This is true. I know we need to get Colby on here. Colby Chaos Covington. Yeah, we're eleven and one. Um, nice. So it turns out with her doing that UFC thing, and then with my brother being in the UFC, um, there's so many people who were already connected, and either they know me or they know my brother or they know him, and and they they're just meeting me, and so because he and I are both kind of, you know, or we have been in the spotlight or we're on the spotlight. Um, it's funny how, you know, it's like the six degrees of separation. Yeah. It's probably down to five, who knows? Okay. But um, it's just, it's been wild. You know, somebody always knows somebody. So it's, you know, you always want to make sure that you're always putting your best foot forward, always leaving a very good, strong impression mm -hmm. because you just, you never know. And more importantly, be your authentic self. Just be you, speak your truth. Just that's all you need to do. You don't need to be fake, just be yourself. So. <laughs> well, thanks so much for coming on the oh, show and you sharing your so journey much. and your kind words. And this is our reunion. I'm so excited. It is. This is the I first know. time I'm seeing you since you moved. I'm so Literally, excited. Literally, and I well, it's been only seven months, but at least it wasn't like three years or something. That'd be sad. I can't wait I'm to so take sad. this girl's class. I'll for be up real. in there like I used to dance with her, and I'm dancing yeah. with her again. Her. <laughs> And I'll be up on shore, like in front of all the people, that like, hey girl, awesome. hey, oh, thanks, thanks for coming. Oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> work, yeah. Yes. Work, so make work, sure work. to follow my girl, Can Dance. I'll put her information below. And if you have any yes. questions for her, or if you want to share your experience about moving to LA, or just again have any questions about coming here, comment below. Also, to make sure to like the video, share, and subscribe. Lots you have to do. Thanks for watching, Alley Cats. Bye. Bye. Bye.